This medication is used to help with severe pain. Oliseridine is in a class of drugs called opioid analgesics. It works in the brain to change how your body feels and responds to pain. This medication is given by injection into a vein as directed by your doctor. The dosage is based on your medical condition and response to treatment. Do not increase your dose or use this drug more often or for longer than prescribed, because your risk of side effects may increase. Properly stop the medication when so directed. Pain medications work best if they are used as the first signs of pain occur. If you wait until the pain has worsened, the medication may not work as well. Before using, check this product visually for particles or discoloration. If either is present, do not use the liquid. If nausea occurs, consult your doctor or pharmacist for ways to decrease it, such as lying down for 1-2 to two hours with as little head movement as possible. Suddenly stopping this medication may cause withdrawal, especially if you have used it for a long time or in high doses. To prevent withdrawal, your doctor may lower your dose slowly. Tell your doctor or pharmacist right away if you have any withdrawal symptoms such as restlessness, anxiety, trouble sleeping, watering eyes, runny nose, nausea, diarrhea, sweating, muscle aches, or sudden changes in behavior. When this medication is used for a long time, it may not work as well. Talk with your doctor if this medication stops working well. Though it helps many people, this medication may sometimes cause addiction. This risk may be higher if you have a substance use disorder, such as overuse of or addiction to drugs slash alcohol. Use this medication exactly as prescribed to lower the risk of addiction. Ask your doctor or pharmacist for more details. Tell your doctor if your pain does not get better or if it gets worse. If you experience nausea, vomiting, constipation, lightheadedness, dizziness, drowsiness, or headache while taking oliseridine 30 mg per 30 ml, 1 mg per ml, PCA intravenous solution, it's important to let your doctor know. To prevent constipation, make sure to eat enough dietary fiber, drink plenty of water, and get regular exercise. You may also need to take a laxative, so ask your pharmacist for the right type for you. Be sure to get up slowly when rising from a sitting or lying position to reduce the risk of dizziness and lightheadedness. Keep in mind that your doctor has prescribed this medication because they believe the benefits outweigh the potential risks. Most people using this medication do not experience serious side effects, but it's important to contact your doctor right away if you notice any serious side effects, such as interrupted breathing during sleep, mental or mood changes, difficulty urinating, fast heartbeat, severe stomach or abdominal pain, or signs of your adrenal glands and not working well. In case of very serious side effects such as slow or shallow breathing, fainting, severe drowsiness, difficulty waking up, or seizures, seek medical help immediately. While rare, a serious allergic reaction to this drug is possible, so get medical help right away if you experience symptoms such as rash, itching or swelling, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing. This is not a complete list of possible side effects, so if you notice any other effects, be sure to contact your doctor or pharmacist. If you experience side effects, you can report them to the FDA in the US at 1-800-FDA-1088 or to Health Canada at 1-866-234-2345 in Canada. Oliseridine carries a risk for abuse and addiction, which can lead to overdose and death. It may also cause severe breathing problems. To lower your risk, your doctor should have you use the smallest dose that works and for the shortest possible time. Ask your doctor or pharmacist if you should have naloxone available to treat opioid overdose and teach your family members about the signs of an opioid overdose and how to treat it. The risk for severe breathing problems is higher when you start this medication or after a dose increase. Using this medication with alcohol or other drugs that can cause drowsiness or breathing problems may cause very serious side effects, including death. Be sure you know how to use oliseridine and what other drugs you should avoid using with it. Keep this medicine in a safe place to prevent theft, misuse, or abuse. Before using this medication, women of childbearing age should talk with their doctor about the risks and benefits. Tell your doctor if you are pregnant or if you plan to become pregnant. It may slightly increase the risk of birth defects if used during the first two months of pregnancy. Using it for a long time or in high doses near the expected delivery date may harm the unborn baby. Babies born to mothers who use this drug for a long time may develop severe withdrawal symptoms.
Before using oliseridine injection, it's important to talk to your doctor or pharmacist if you have any allergies or if you have a history of certain medical conditions such as brain disorders, breathing problems, gallbladder disease, liver disease, heart problems, mental-slash-mood disorders, substance use disorder, stomach-slash-intestinal problems, pancreatitis, or difficulty urinating. This medication may cause dizziness or drowsiness, and using alcohol or marijuana can increase these effects. It's important to avoid driving or using machinery until you know how this medication affects you, and to avoid alcoholic beverages. If you use marijuana, talk to your doctor. Before having surgery, make sure to inform your doctor or dentist about all the medications and products you are using, including prescription drugs, non-prescription drugs, and herbal products. Older adults may be more sensitive to the side effects of this medication, such as confusion, dizziness, drowsiness, and slow-slash-shallow breathing. If you are pregnant, this medication should only be used when clearly needed, as it may harm an unborn baby. It is unknown if this medication passes into breast milk, so it is important to consult with your doctor before breastfeeding. It's important to be aware of potential drug interactions when taking oliseridine 30 mg per 30 ml, 1 mg per ml, PCA intravenous solution. Certain pain medications, naltrexone, and samidorphan are some products that may interact with this drug. It's important to keep a list of all the products you use and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. Also, be cautious when using other products that may cause drowsiness or breathing problems, such as opioid pain or cough relievers, alcohol, marijuana, drugs for sleep or anxiety, muscle relaxants, or antihistamines. Additionally, this medication may interfere with certain lab tests, potentially causing false results. Make sure to inform lab personnel and all your doctors that you are using this drug. If someone has taken too much of oliseridine and is experiencing serious symptoms such as passing out or difficulty breathing, they should be given naloxone if available, and emergency services should be called immediately. If the person is conscious and not showing any symptoms, a poison control center should be contacted right away. In the U.S., residents can call their local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222, and in Canada, residents can call a provincial poison control center. Symptoms of an overdose may include slow or shallow breathing, severe drowsiness or dizziness, fast or irregular heartbeat, and fainting. It's important not to share this medication with others, as doing so is against the law. This medication has been prescribed specifically for your current condition, so it should not be used for another condition unless directed by your doctor. In that case, a different medication may be necessary. If you happen to miss a dose of oliseridine 30 mg per 30 ml, 1 mg per ml, PCA intravenous solution, take it as soon as you remember. However, if it's almost time for your next dose, it's best to just skip the missed dose and continue with your regular dosing schedule. Avoid taking a double dose to make up for the missed one. As always, it's important to follow your healthcare provider's instructions for the best results. It's important to store oliseridine 30 mg per 30 ml, 1 mg per ml, PCA intravenous solution at room temperature and away from light. Make sure to keep all medications out of reach of children and pets. Do not dispose of this product in the toilet or drain unless instructed to do so. When expired or no longer needed, be sure to properly discard the product. If you have any questions about how to dispose of the medication, consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.